Hey YouTube, another video and this time I'm going to show you how to program an 80 mega chip. This is an 80 mega 8 in our case and um, we've built, I've built a circuit here um, to carry all this out using only an Arduino and uh, before we start let's, um, let's just talk a little bit about the circuit. We have the Arduino here, it doesn't have anything on it so uh, nothing happens. We have this little circuit which has three LEDs and it's going to show us the activity that happens once we upload the ISP program into the Arduino and whether it's communicating correctly with our chip or not. And here we have a circuit which is representing our project. We have our 80 mega 8 chip right here, an oscillator and we have an LED and a button and they represent the functions that we want our 80 mega chip to carry out and here we have an LED just to show you let you see that there is power in the circuit but when I press this button here nothing really happens the LED doesn't light up but that's all gonna change and our Arduino is also powered um, this circuit this configuration I've just copied from um, the Arduino community forum and um, it's the basic uh, setup on configuring an 80 mega chip and I'm gonna include my own um, circuit schematic to make your life easier that you don't need to go search for it but um, we're already once you set up uh, this uh, configuration here uh, with the Arduino and the circuit and everything is connected it's time to move on to the computer so here we have our code and it's ready and we just want to upload it before we upload it to our chip we need to first upload the ISP program into our Arduino and for that we go to file examples we open the Arduino ISP sketch in the Arduino ID and you can read here instructions about it and um, you just upload it to your Arduino and you can see now that it's uploading so it's going to take a few moments and it's done. So you can close now the Arduino ID with the ISP sketch and we're back to our code. The next thing we want to do is we want to um, change the settings so that we're programming it for an 80 mega 8 chip and not for a 328 so we're going to change the setting in the Arduino and then we're not going to upload it but we're just going to compile it using the built-in compiler and you can see that it's compiling it and once it's done we want to take this last line here which shows us the temporary folder where our hex file is and we're going to open that folder and here we have our file we're going to copy it and we're going to place it now in a folder which has a program called AVR dude now this program um, that's the program that uploads the hex file into your chip and um, it communicates through the Arduino and you can just download it um, from this website right here and here you have the address and this is the version that you need to download and it's pretty easy you know how to do that but back to our goal here once we've placed the hex file um, in the folder we're going to open command prompt and then we're going to go into the folder where we save it at that and we're going to write down this command just the name of the program we're going to specify the, com the com port which is com5 we're going to specify the baud rate which is 19 1200 and our controller and we're going to specify the type of chip which is an M8 that's the code inside AVR dude and we're going to add a parameter where we just want to communicate with it and you can see what happened it communicated with the chip it's telling us that everything is okay so now we're ready to upload the sketch and to upload the sketch we're going to load the same command and we're going to add this parameter which is going to point to the hex file oh just make a little correction here 
there we go and now you can see that it's communicating and it's uploading and it's done so that's it we've programmed our chip and uh, now you can see that when I press the button the LED turns on and that's because our 80 mega 8 chip receives an input signal from the button and it outputs it on a different pin, pin number 3 to the LED and makes it light up. That's it. You learned how to program a chip using an Arduino and um, that's uh, very useful when you're building all sorts of things and you need a microcontroller. It makes life a lot easier and it's easier when you know how to program it. So um, I hope you like this video and if you like my videos then please subscribe and if you have any questions then feel free to leave a comment and I'll do my best to, to provide you with an answer. And until the next time, thanks for watching.